Please go and try. Talk to him. Do you think you accept me back? Hello, brother Desmond. I'm here. What's happening? I hope you're fine. No, brother. Things are not okay. Mama is seriously sick. I even wrote a message to you four days ago and I've been waiting for your reply to no avail. Okay, okay, Phil. Look, I'm in a meeting right now. I'll, I'll call you later. Desmond, what's this information I'm getting? What is it that you hear? Desmond, that your mother is lavishing and dying in the village wedding? Immediately after the visit to my wife's place today, I will go and see her. Abato, please, you really need to help me. Please, Abato, please, try. You know, Sandu get now. I'm going to ask you to see him. I will see what I can bring you to that I can take your mom to the hospital, okay? But, Jim, how can this man do this to us? Where are you people going to? See, we are traveling. Where are you traveling to? We are going to the city. Really? City girl. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I love this place. This place is awesome. But come on, how do you know this place? <laughs> I know about cases. I don't know about answering questions. Yeah. So give me some. Oh. Oh, oh! <laughs> so you are back? Yes, <laughs> Give it to me. I don't know what you're talking about. That. You know. Give my money! Don't you know I'm a title man in this village? Title my money. Don't you commence the operation straight away? For us to carry an operation on your patient, you have to absorb the deposit amount of 150,000 CF francs. 150,000? Are they going to carry an operation for the whole village? Or just for one particular person? As you can see, in this house, there is no money. Ah, oh, Auntie. <laughs> Mommy is so hard hearted that she won't do anything to help her. I can't take it anymore. Like seriously. We we keep having nightmares. Uh, his, his little mom keeps coming in our dream, warning us every night. This is serious. So what do you guys intend to do about it? I don't care. I don't care. Because as for me, if it persists, I'm leaving that house. Leave my house, Mr. Jensen. Leave my house. Let me tell you, sir, I'm leaving your house, but take it from me. If your sister did die, don't step your leg into my compound. You don't give a bitch, you don't give a bitch, you don't give a bitch. You don't give a bitch, you don't give a bitch, you don't give a bitch. I want to, so I want to hear it, you don't give a bitch. Don't you want me to look good like my mates? Don't you? I want you to look like your mates. If you like, look like anything. If you like Cindy, look like anything. You are quite aware that my mom is seriously sick and she is in the hospital. And here you are asking for money. Don't you have pity in your life? Don't count on me. I'll be the last person who is going to go against the rules and regulations of this place. Please. Okay, do you get it? Eh? Pay for doctor. You want to tell us that you are going to leave this poor woman dying because we cannot complete Let her die! So what do you have to gossip this time around? Ah, you call this one gossip? Oh boy, this is not gossip. This is a true story. Oh, <laughs> 